is time to talk some serious bass tone because Ampeg is legendary and I think Ampeg being owned by the Yamaha Corporation and therefore working directly with Line 6, getting the products into the Helix and Helix related products really allows them to continue to step up their game. So Ampeg and their amps, their products have been with us from almost from the get go of bass guitar. Whether you already have one of the Line 6 products like the Helix, Helix LT or HX Stomp, or whether you're thinking about getting one such product, this video will be relevant for you today because what we're looking at is we're looking at the Ampeg stuff that's in the Helix, Helix LT and HX Stomp. And then I'm also going to tell you about some patches that you can get uh, that I have created involving the Ampeg stuff in the Helix, all right? Now the patches that I'm gonna have available today are specifically for the Helix LT and Helix. I don't have anything for the uh, HX Stomp just yet, but when I do, there will be a link in the description of the video. And so when it comes to what the Line 6 products offer for bass players, Ampeg is absolutely at the forefront of that. So real quick, I wanna talk about, uh, as of the latest update, which is uh, firmware version 3.15, I want to talk about the Ampeg products that we have in the Helix and Helix software so that you might be a little bit more familiar with what they are uh, and so that you might know a little bit more about how they might work for you. Uh, and furthermore, we're going to listen to uh, some patches that I'm offering today. Let's check it out. So for the Ampeg amps we have in the Helix, we have the Ampeg B15 NF. This is the holy grail of bass amps. Uh, this is the amp that became in the 1960s the most popular studio bass amp in the world, okay? Do you like Motown? Do you like the Stax records? The R&B stuff from the 60s? Well, James Jamerson in Detroit, uh, Duck Dunn in Memphis, and Chuck Rainey in Los Angeles and New York. Those are the guys that you hear playing through this exact amp. We also have two different versions of Ampeg's SVT amp, the classic version that is, and we have a normal and a bright that has a, a ultra bright channel to it, very cool. And then we have the prestigious, I mean, de facto, the flagship amplifier from Ampeg, highly coveted, which is the Ampeg SVT4 Pro. When it comes to bass amps, the buck stops here. For cabs, we have the 8x10 Ampeg SVTE, which is the cab. It is the kitchen sink. It is the flagship cab from Ampeg. Uh, goes hand in hand very well with the SVT4 Pro. And uh, this is just where it's at in terms of cabs. You got one or two of these on the stage, you've got everything you need and more. We also have the 4x10 Ampeg HLF, which is the ultimate single compact bass cab. And I'll tell you what, it's great. It's the choice of many bass players for venues of all kinds of sizes and it sounds killer, uh, as do the impressions of what we have in the Helix. And then also there is the 1x15 Ampeg B15, which is the, uh, the classic vintage Ampeg B15 cabinet that goes hand in hand with the amp. And uh, we definitely have some vintage tones available in the Helix. But then we can't forget effect pedals because Ampeg so far has given us three really great effect pedals that we're gonna look at. And I imagine in the next update, there will be even more from Ampeg, but let's look at what we have so far. So far we have the Ampeg Opto Comp. This is a really fabulous compressor pedal. and They did a really fabulous job putting it in the Helix. This is a pedal with an optical circuit that helps to deliver vintage style and compression on your bass, along with sustain to give your bass professional tone. We also have the Ampeg Scrambler, which is my personal favorite bass drive pedal right now and definitely my favorite in the Helix right now. Uh, it has authentic Ampeg grit that delivers a wide range of drive. It's an analog bass overdrive that you can blend with your dry signal, which is really what separates the men from the boys when it comes to bass drive. It's really better to do blending than it is to straight up effect your drive in most situations, depending on the style of music you're playing. And then we have my personal favorite, which is the Ampeg liquefier. Finally, recently with a 3.15 update, they gave us a bass chorus, so you're not sticking you know, a regular chorus on bass. And I'll tell you what, this pedal is known for delivering some lush, 
rich chorus sounds for your bass guitar. In fact, using one of my patches, let's take a listen real quick to how this Ampeg liquefier sounds. Liquifier and Scrambler, you both have uh, mono and stereo modes for each of those and a lot of cool tones available. So let me tell you real quick about these patches I have. Well, the one that you heard in the intro uh, is a patch of mine that I recently created called Dual Peg. And this is a stereo bass patch. Uh, it utilizes some stereo effects, some mono effects, gives you very versatile foot switches, and it's a powerhouse sounding patch. What we have in it is we have the SVT4 Pro run into not one, but two 8x10 Ampeg SVT-E cabinets. And they are panned midway to the left and right to give you a full sound. In fact, the intro demo you heard in this video today is that patch. Whether you're picking or playing with fingers, there's some fat stuff for you in this particular patch. I also have a mono Ampeg patch available called Mono Peg. The cool thing about this patch is if you're running your bass mono using the Helix or Helix LT, uh, you know, it, it, it's really amazing because so often as bass players, we try to decide between a bass amp sound or a bass DI sound. Well, this one, I've set up a foot switch where you can switch between the two very easily with just one click. There are also eight really killer snapshots in mono peg that get you everything from rocking sounds to, you know, versatile funk sounds. So what I'm gonna do real quick is let me give you a quick demo of the eight snapshots that I've set up in Monopeg, just so you'll see what kind of sounds you can get.
There's links to these patches and to my patch store in the description of today's video. Uh, that said, rather than buying each one, I've actually concocted a deal where you could get these all in a bundle that I am titling SVT. SVT is a bundle of these three patches. And uh, if you wanna just go in and get all three for your Helix or Helix LT, uh, you can do so at the link in the description of this video. Just get the SVT pack and rock out with these three patches I've made. A lot of time, care, and focus were put into these patches. Um, I tested them and created them utilizing both a P-Bass with flats and an active jazz bass with rounds. And they are pretty dang killer. Uh, and I really like them a lot. So if you enjoyed uh, the demos in today's video, then do me a favor and get yourself these patches. They are absolutely ideal for the Helix LT, which I think is a great base unit, but they will work for the Helix floor as well. So I highly encourage you to check them out. Anyway, thanks for checking out this quick video today. Just wanted to talk about the really cool Ampeg products in the Helix. They sound fabulous. They're versatile. Uh, these amps just have a ton of features and give you a ton of tones. And I really love this stuff. So what are your favorite bass effects and amps in the Helix? I would love to chat tone with you in the comments of this video, okay? Guys, please make sure you're subscribed here to the Rumbling Man channel because we've got a lot of videos like this one coming up. And tone talk with Rumbling Man ain't going nowhere, okay? So God bless you guys. Thanks for watching today. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.